What's up guys, it's Tony with 4Money. On today's episode, I'm gonna show you how, when, and why to aerate your yard. Let's do it. All right, so I rented this aerator at Ace Hardware for about $85 for a full 24 hours. Me and my neighbors, we pitch in, so it ends up being about $15 for all of us. So basically, this aerator weighs about 235 pounds when it's empty. This thing is a, is a beast. It's extremely heavy, but it has this really cool tank where you can fill it up to 50 pounds with water. So it turns out to be about 285 pounds. So for St. Augustine grass, that is really good because you really need the tines to dig into the ground. So over here, we have an on-off switch and it, it starts just like any gas engine. And there's also a, an on-off switch over here as well. All right, so turn the switch on. Over here, I'm gonna put it on, on full throttle, which is the bunny. I'm gonna make sure it's on over here. And you go ahead and give it a pull. So if I were to pull this lever here, the aerator won't really go anywhere. And you can see back right here, the tines are spinning, but they won't go anywhere because I have not pushed this bar down, which is what engages the tines into the ground. So you can see that front wheel turning, but it won't go anywhere because the tines are not in the ground. So once I push this lever down, the tines are now in the ground. So when I pull this, it's gonna take off. And since I have it on the highest speed setting, it's gonna go pretty fast. Check this out. So these are the little cores that come out of the ground. So the, these tines are shaped in such a way that produces these little plugs, okay? So as more and more dirt goes in here, okay? These plugs shoot out this side and they look just like this. It depends on how your ground is, but these are very soft. So it's best to just leave them on the ground in about a week or so, they'll just disintegrate and just end up back in the grass. So it's good to just leave them there. By aerating, what you're doing is you're creating these little holes in the ground, which are called cores or plugs. And by removing these cores or these plugs, what that does is it allows water, fertilizer, air to get beneath the ground. Because if your ground is like super hard, once you get water on top of it, it's pretty much just gonna run off. Same with the fertilizer. If it cannot get into the roots, it's not gonna be good for your grass. So by aerating, you're removing these little plugs and it allows the nutrients to penetrate deep into the ground. So the best time of year to aerate is pretty much any time that the grass is actively growing and you're gonna see results instantly because the water, air, and fertilizer can actually get beneath the ground once you aerate. So when you're using the aerator, you can get to the end of your grass and just do a loop like I'm doing, or you could stop the aerator, pick up the tines, turn it around, put the tines back down, and then keep going. See, I like to just do a full loop. I don't really like to stop. It just keeps the momentum going. When you first start aerating, you're gonna have to get used to the speed because this machine is really gonna take you. Do not try to hold the machine back as it's going. Just let it go and follow it. Do not try to do this, watch. You can't stop it, okay? It's gonna, it's gonna go, it's got a motor. The tines are digging into the ground. You cannot stop the thing. The best thing to do is just guide it left and right. And if you're about to run into a fence or a tree or a bush, just let go of it, it'll stop on a dime. Look, as soon as I let it go, it's gonna stop. It ain't going anywhere, okay? So if you're gonna run into a tree or a bush, just let it go. And if you wanna turn it around, look, it turns pretty easily.
Don't be afraid to do too many passes with the aerator. It's not a tiller, it's not a cultivator, it's not gonna tear up the grass. All it's doing is pulling out little plugs from the ground, okay? So the more plugs you create, the better it is for your yard. Now don't do 100 passes. Two or three passes in each direction should be okay. All right guys, well that's basically it. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you have any questions about aerating, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'd love to help you out. I also have another video about using a dethatcher. If you aerate and dethatch within the same week, that is extremely healthy for your yard. Once again, I got this at Ace Hardware. You can get them at Lowe's, Home Depot, pretty much any hardware store. And you can rent it for a day, you can rent it for a week, or you can even rent it for four hours. I think it's worth it once a year. It's a great workout. Thanks for watching this video, guys. See you next time. Peace.